the guys PC guy here and today I'll be using some settings trickery to show you guys the difference between 1440p and 1080p as far as uh, frame rate goes with the same graphics card so basically how well does a graphics card do at 1440p compared to 1080p and what kind of performance drop you can expect if you go from one resolution to the other and when I say settings trickery I mean that my screen is 1080p so there's no way that I can just you know fl uh, flip it up to 1440 but I can use some clever Nvidia settings to simulate the performance the graphic card supports the dynamic super resolution from the video or the SR. You can change your settings and make it upscale or downscale as you wish. It won't physically change how many pixels you have on your screen, obviously, but it can give you an idea of how it will perform and it can in some cases improve or reduce the quality of whatever game you're playing. So you just have to hit customize. You will create a new custom resolution. Remember to click this little boxy here and here you just have to type the well the pixels for the 1440p experience which is 2560 by 1440p you can click test it will blink your screen out well, in this case I already created it but your screen will turn off for a second test it and ask you if you want to save it or not by saving it you can apply it by coming here checking it there and hitting apply as you can see, it is simulating 1440p, so you can just click yes and say yes, I would love to keep it. Obviously, this is not as good as actual 1440p, but for testing purposes, it is enough, because even if your screen can't display it, your graphics card will be rendering uh, as if it would be an actual 1440p display. So how are I going to do this? I'm just going to do a quick benchmark. Uh, maybe play a little bit in a game or two and see what results we can see with both of these resolutions. Quick run on uh, GFX Bench Benchmark has been giving it a 240fps on the NATP. Running the exact same test with our resolution scale to 1440p has given 132fps again on GFX Bench Benchmark. So a 100 and fps drop roughly uh, from going from 1440p to 1080p so that that is with a uh, gtx 1660 ti which is a very nice 1080p card but it's kind of really pushing it for 1440p and keep in mind that these are not the frame rates you would get in a game you would get much less this is just a very quick and dirty benchmark to get to see a bit of the percentage difference so while it is giving us about a 70% drop in frame rate in a benchmark, how does it actually perform in practice in a game? Let's take a look at Metro Exodus, for example. Playing Metro Exodus with all settings all on high and ultra, while recording is giving us right now about 67-68 FPS at 1080p. Looking at the same scene at 1440p and the screen is probably cropped because, well, my uh, recording software is not recording at 1440p. We are getting 54, 55 FPS, and keep in mind that this is a very, uh, let's call it, quiet uh, scene to record. There's not much happening. In actual uh, gameplay, you'd probably see more of a drop. But this is, was a very quick and dirty test, really, only tested really one game. But as you see, dropping from the high 60s to the mid 50s FPS is quite a chunk of uh, frame rate to lose. It is something that if you are, for example, on the 60 Hertz monitor without adaptive sync, it's something that will probably, if you are using VSync, switch a display from 60 FPS back to 30 because of the way that VSync works. If you are on an adaptive sync monitor, it won't matter as much, but you are still experiencing uh, frame rate loss. And well, obviously, the more the better. If you are playing at 1440p, I would definitely advise getting a better GPU than I do, but this is really uh, just a testing uh, video for you guys to see how much the difference is and for you guys actually to see how can you try out 1440p if for example if you want to test if your hardware can handle 1440p and at what conditions then switching the DSR on the NVIDIA control uh, panel is a good way to try out and see how your hardware will do if you do make the decision to buy a 1440p display so 
yeah, it's a very nice way to do it without actually having to get the monitor and trying it and then not being satisfied with the performance and returning it. Some games might do better than others and some games might be better optimized than others. A lot of games that are not very GPU dependent, like for example World of Warcraft, you probably won't see much of a difference. In games like Metro and uh, other very graphical intensive games, you might uh, in fact see a bigger difference than you saw on Metro, like Shadow of the Tomb Raider things like that probably a bit more of a drop than you are seeing here i might in the future make a more in-depth testing with more different games different benchmarks so you guys can get a better idea of what the performance hits between the two resolutions are if this video has enough interest and as time allows uh, i will definitely be interested in doing that so uh, let me know what you guys think and uh, help this video get some interest by dropping the like button and dropping a comment down below letting me know what you think and what you would like to see. Likes and comments really help with getting the video some more visibility and being shown to more people, which in turn will help us to grow the channel and be able to provide that kind of quality content and quality comparisons that you guys might be interested in seeing. So uh, help us out by boosting us in the algorithm like that. Check out our other videos and if you enjoy them consider subscribing and helping the channel grow in that way as well. And I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been Edic PC Guy. Have fun.